Okay, everyone, I'm Heather with Burner Babies, and hopefully by now, uh, this far along in the process, you are aware of who I am. But today I've sent you this video because it's getting close to pickup time, and so I'm going to go over all the things that we're going to, uh, that I'm going to hand to you at pickup, um, but trust me, it's a lot easier to go through them before pickup than it is during pickup when everybody's really excited about their new baby. So um, there is a lot of information. So if you have questions about anything that I go through in this video, please feel free to either uh, send me an email or a text, or you're definitely more than welcome to take notes now and then ask me when you actually pick up your puppy in just a couple short weeks, right? Um, so the very first thing we're gonna do is talk about what is in your take home packet. And like I said, there is a ton of information. Um, it is worth your time to actually read through it and go through it. Uh, so I, I do kind of expect my families to do that. I don't print this stuff out for my health. So hopefully um, you get a lot of good information about this. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this uh, little note from me. It's called the transition letter. And basically it just talks about what to kind of expect during your puppy's first couple weeks at home. Um, it talks about kennel training and potty training. Um, talks about homesickness, uh, things like that. So tons and tons of good tips and tricks and just kind of what to expect during the first couple weeks at home. So the next thing we're going to talk about is food. And so this little handout here talks about dog food. So um, you should have or will be receiving your contract very soon. Um, and in that contract, you will see that we only support three brands of dog food and they are Prina Pro Plan, Royal Canin, and Hills. And this letter explains why that is. Um, basically, my husband and I went to a seminar, uh, it's been several years ago now, and learned a ton about dog food. When I thought I already knew a lot about dog food, I learned way, way more. And long story short, um, these are the brands that we feel like provide the best quality of um, nutrition and value to your dog and therefore that's what we stand behind and want you to um, feed your new puppy. So that talks about this. So then we also get the question um, probably about 300 times a year. <laughs> um, how much do we feed our new puppy? And the answer is we free feed. You feed your puppy as much as he or she needs you fill the bowl, you keep it full, and they will self-regulate. A dog on its own will never overeat their dog food. It's the people food, it's the treats, etc., that make your dog overweight. It is not keeping their bowl full, um, especially if they come from a breeder like me or a situation where they have never felt what in food insecurity feels like, um, where they have never had to fight for food or scavenge for food this is the way to go. Um, I have a video on how to retrain dogs that have never been free fed from like a time feeding to a free feeding. I have a video on how to do that and everybody in the vet world is going to tell me I'm wrong but I don't have fat dogs and I don't have issues with bloat. So this handout talks about bloat. So a few things right. So free feeding reduces your chances of bloat by something like 80 to 90 percent just by allowing them to graze because what happens when they don't free feed is they gobble their food it creates an air pocket down the esophagus that flips into the belly or goes into the belly and causes the belly to flip now you're in a bloat situation that is life-threatening um where really if you would just free feed odds are you're not going to have this problem and you're not going to deal with a dog that's underweight or overweight. They're going to self-regulate their food. So this talks about bloat and the importance of free feeding. So make sure that you read this. The next thing we talk about are the vitamins that we give. So this talks about, uh, this actually comes from New Vet themselves. These are the vitamins. I have seen these vitamins do amazing things in senior dogs. Um, dogs that were really having a hard time getting around. Even being on the very best quality dog food and you start I started giving vitamins to my senior dogs not just my dogs like coming up like growing up 
and complete turnaround. So I'm a huge firm believer in these vitamins and what they can do for their joints. And um, so this talks about the vitamins. This handout, this and the bullet handout probably are the most, the single most important things I'm gonna hand to you. So this handout, it says very important, please read. <laughs> and it's really for your puppy's benefit and for your wallet's benefit. You are already paying um, a, a nice dollar value for this puppy. You're getting a good quality of puppy for a decent dollar. And what you don't want is to be taken advantage by vets. Um, I will tell you right now in this video, you can call me anytime, day or night, if you have something going on and you're at the vet's office and they're telling you something that you're not sure. You can call me. And this has happened at two in the morning, three in the morning, and I got out of bed and I went down to Des Moines and I picked up my puppy and uh, I took him to my vet, got the right diagnosis, treated the puppy, returned him back to the owner when a vet in Des Moines was not going to do the right thing, was going to charge these people an arm and a leg for some crazy crazy stuff so you call me if you're having questions but you read through these examples these are real life examples that I have dealt with over the years where I just feel like vets are just trying to take advantage of people and and get your money so I always tell people you know your dog better than anybody else you live with them 24 7 these are your babies so I I personally don't care what you pay your vet so if you have questions, you call me. I'm going to tell you my honest opinion because my bottom line is I want my puppy to be happy and healthy. So I'm not going to agree with the vet if I don't think that they're right. So, and you can always ask for a second opinion. I feel like second opinions, everybody's got one, right? Move on to the next people if you're not confident with what the vet is saying. Um, so read this. This is huge, huge, huge. Okay. Next. Um, I told you there's a lot. <laughs> so this just talks about if you took advantage of our training, which I hope that you at least took advantage of the kennel training. It's totally worth it. I almost want to make it required for everybody, but everybody's situation is so different that, but anyhow, if you took advantage of the training, either the kennel training or the obedience training and kennel training, um, combination, this just talks about our schedule and kind of how to continue that success. However, there are also videos on both of these. So this is just like a nice little handout reminder. Okay, so then this one, this is what do health clearances mean? So we run a bunch of tests on our dogs <laughs> uh, just to make sure that they are healthy enough, cleared for breeding type of testing, right? That does not mean, doesn't mean my dogs will never get sick in their lifetime, but it also does not mean that your puppy will not ever get sick in their lifetime. These are, the testing that we do here are genetic type testing. So it doesn't mean that, you know, one of my dogs will never, you know, have bloat, for example, or eat something they, they shouldn't have had and ended up, end up in a emergency surgery type of situation, or that they won't get, you know, like Lyme disease or something like that. Um, but what it does mean is that we are doing our due diligence here and we are trying to prevent all passed on genetic diseases by thoroughly, thoroughly doing testing here on the adult breeding dogs. And so that's just what that handout talks about. Um, so as I'm sure, you know, we raise Bernie's mountain dogs and burner doodles. So if you are adopting a burner, you will get this in your folder. And this talks about Bernie's mountain dog growth information. So I cannot tell you how many times I have gotten a phone call that says, oh my gosh, Heather, I saw a burner at the dog park and they are the same age as my dog, but it's bigger or way smaller than my dog. And what am I doing wrong? Nothing. You are doing nothing wrong. Burners come in such a huge range of size and they are a slow growing, slow maturing dog, which is why, um, you know, the dog food is so important. The vitamins are so important because they, they are a slow maturing dog. So this talks about why uh, that is totally normal and why that is totally okay that you see dogs the same age. You know, um, one thing that can really have an effect on it too is litter size. You know, a puppy that comes from a litter of three is going to be much larger at six months than a puppy who came from a litter of 12. Now, once they reach full maturity, they could be exactly the same size, but it's going to take that puppy from a litter of 12 a little bit longer to get there because they had a smaller beginning. 
nothing you're doing nothing wrong the puppy is doing nothing wrong just growing at their own pace and that's totally okay but this talks about why that's normal and why that's okay so good read here so if you are getting a burner doodle from us you're going to get a couple different hand downs you will not get that burner growth information hand down but you will get this and this is called about your burner doodle and what this does is it tells you the generation the size what those both mean and the um the longevity the estimated longevity of your particular burner doodle so this is a great it's highlighted as you can, can see um but this is really great information because a lot of people don't actually understand the um generational and the size difference maybe the size difference but definitely i don't think they understand the okay slow down heather <laughs> they don't necessarily understand the generational differences and so i've just kind of explained that here quickly and then another handout that the Bernadoodle uh, parents get is this Bernadoodle versus Bernie's Mountain Dog handout. And so basically it really is kind of what it says. It describes to you the differences between the Bernadoodle and the Bernie's Mountain Dog. And really I included this in your handout because a lot of people are drawn to the Bernadoodle because of the Bernie's Mountain Dog. And so I feel like this is a really great way, a quick way to explain the, the major differences. So this is also in your handout. Or in your packet, I'm sorry. So there's a few other things that you get. You get an invitation to our private closed Facebook group. And um, it's called the Burner Babies Family. So it's a fun, fun group. You get to post pictures and stories and all kinds of fun stuff. And your information that you will need to get into the group are, will be here on your uh, handout. You get a special offer from Trupanion. And Trupanion is an insurance company. Um that basically I submitted all of our testing to. And because I did that, you as a adoptive family of Werner Babies, you get a discounted price um, for your puppy's insurance if you choose to do that. The caveat is, is this has to be done within 24 hours of pickup if you want to take advantage of the discounts and things that Trupanion offers to you. So this will be in your packet and it will need to be done right away if you decide you want to um, go with Trupanion's insurance. Another thing that you will get is your puppy's um, shot and deworming records. So it'll look something like this. Sometimes they look different, uh, but this is just a blank one. I do not keep a copy of this. This is the only copy I have goes home with each puppy. So do not lose this. Take this to your vet when you um, go to your first appointment and then they can keep the record from there. They'll write, you know, they'll put down in the computer everything that your puppy's had and then they may hand it back to you or they may keep it. Um, either way is fine but I don't keep a copy of this this is the original and it does go home with you the next thing that you get is a health certificate and I am turning this um, around for privacy reasons because there is personal information but is it it is a pink slip of paper and basically what that says is that I took your puppy to the vet and they are nice and healthy um, so then <laughs> The contract that either you have gotten or will be getting in the next few days, uh, you'll get a copy of that signed by me, and then you'll sign it that day. And then you'll also get this. This is a blank one, and you will sign this as well as take a copy home with my signature. But basically what that one is is like a recap of the contract, but things I like to say out loud, like um, take your puppy to the vet within three days, which you've known since uh, the first day of the process, you know, since the puppies have been born, um, that you cannot rehome, resell, or drop this puppy off in a shelter, that if you can't keep it for any reason, you do have to contact me, and the puppy does come back to me, and that um, you have a spay or neuter contract depending on male or female. So those are the things that I like to say out loud. It does have your, again, personal information, the puppy's personal information, and how much you paid again, um, along with the contract has that same information. And then we also do have the take-home options. So the take-home options would include a bed. Um, and I'm not going to list the prices just because depending on the deals I can get, the, the prices do fluctuate. Um, so we offer a take-home bed, and that would smell like home, like their siblings, like their mom. And then we offer blankets that, again, will smell usually like their siblings, Um the mom usually doesn't get involved too much in that unless it's like a community blanket. Um, usually that the blankets participate with the kennel training. And then we've, we also started offering this, which I happen to have one here. 
this is um, the snuggle puppy that we actually designed. We worked with a manufacturer overseas to design this. So um, it's inspired by Bear. So if you watched any of my videos before, you know who Bear is. So uh, this is a snuggle puppy. It comes with a heartbeat simulator and then it comes with a reusable heat pack so that when your puppy goes home, um, this puppy can act like a surrogate sibling so it will have a heartbeat and it will be warm as if they were sleeping next to their sibling. Um, and it also looks like a burner, which all of my dogs, the burners, burner doodles, and even my Yorkies know what the burners look like, interact with the burners. So it's something that looks familiar and would smell familiar to them. So that's now being offered too. And then everybody gets home, gets a small take home toy that just smells like home. And then, um, we offer a training leash as well that goes home with you. And that's all a little bund bundled in a nice little bag for you. So it really is like picking up a baby. You get a bunch of stuff to go home. Oh, and we also, um, offer the kennel, the intermediate kennel. Um, if your puppy was trained, then you could take home their kennel. So basically anything that they, that your puppy had here, they can actually take home with them and help with it, their transition. So I feel like that's a mouthful. I know it's a ton of information, um, but trust me, it's much easier to talk to you about it now when I have a hundred percent of your focus versus trying to have, a, you know, 25% of your focus when you have so much focus on your puppy. So this has worked out great over the years to have this video, um, done beforehand and, uh, it, it really helps everybody. So if you have any questions about anything I went over, like I said, there was a lot, please feel free to reach out to me or make a list and we can talk about it uh, at your pickup appointment. And other than that, I can't wait to meet you all and introduce you to your new puppy. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye everyone.